And welcome back. Thank you all for joining us. And here with Akomi, mm -hmm. thank you very much for joining us. Well, thank you very much for having me. You bet. Glad to have you. So tell us a bit about how you got involved. Um, I know cosplay is one of the uh, big things you're known for. How did you get involved with that? Um, I actually got involved in cosplay on a whim. <laughs> uh, when I was a college student, one of the girls on my figure skating team decided to drag me to a convention. <laughs> and here I am today. There we go. Cosplaying. Cool, cool. What got you into anime to begin with? Pokemon. Really? Nice. Yeah. Toonami, um, <laughs> all of the good stuff on Cartoon Network mm. and Saturday morning cartoons. Mm. Was Pokemon really your, your gateway show? I think Pokemon really? was my gateway drug, yes. Yeah, yeah. nice. Not in Yu-Gi-Oh, the original Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, very cool. <laughs> um, and then, I, I know you know, cosplay is such a big category and you get into it. Like, um, what was the point at which like you knew you wanted to do this like seriously, like you know, multiple times a year, every day if you could, that kind of thing? Oh, I actually never really had that startling realization. It just kind of started compounding upon itself mm. um, through staffing and then being asked to represent a convention at other conventions. Wow. I just had to keep cosplaying and keep <laughs> going to cons. And yeah. It just kept growing into what I have to do today. Gotcha. And what do you do today? <laughs> I am a costume designer, mm. a very different from what I went to college for. Mm -hmm, of course. And <laughs> um, I occasionally go around as a guest, mm. and currently I do a lot of promotional and convention tour work for Anime USA. Cool, cool. Um, how'd you get involved with Anime USA? Same girl from my figure skating team. Okay. She tricked me. <laughs> she, um, the Maid Cafe started the year before I started going to conventions, so it was still very new. Mm. Uh, she saw it on their website one day, and mm. she was like, we should just send in our applications and see what happens <laughs> so we can go to a con for free. And I mean, yeah. I'm a 20-year-old broke college student. Like, free con <laughs> sounds pretty awesome to exactly. me. Exactly. And so we sent in our apps, got accepted, and then I was a maid, and I ended up doing booth work then. Gotcha. And then it just kept growing. Cool, cool. Were there, what was the biggest surprise about doing maid work? What, what didn't you expect about that? Was there anything that kind of was unusual? I didn't expect all of the publicity. Oh, interesting. To be perfectly honest, um, right when I started in the maid cafe, they just started using the maids to work their booth mm -hmm. and everything, and I was one of the maids that helped solidify that concept. Mm -hmm. And we just going to all these other cons, slowly but surely people started recognizing Makomi as AUSA or Makomi as part of AUSA, and they be, just became ambiguous with each other. And uh, just people recognizing me from the maid cafe, I just mm -hmm. thought it would be like a one and done thing. and. <laughs> Here, three, four years later, I'm still having people asking me if I'm going to be in the Maid Cafe wow. this year, even though it's been two years since I've worked in it now, yeah. I think. About two years. Wow. So, cool. Just, nice. And then, um, I know you do a lot of work for Anime USA itself. What are some of the other things you, you do as part of your job? I have done Trust different me. things every single year I've been oh, a staffer. Okay. Um, I did the Maid Cafe for two years, and then I had my adorable little baby Thor Aww. son. And I had to quit working in the maid cafe. Mm. And then I got swept up into marketing and I helped film some things. Oh. And I used to do social media stuff with them for right. a year. And then the following year, there was um, a lot of staffers left. Like they just reached different points in their lives and they mm. couldn't staff cons anymore. And so I got brought in into programming and I ran fan panels last year. Okay, wow. And I am so glad I'm not doing that this year. <laughs> <laughs> it was an mm. experience that I was not quite ready for. Really? But I had to do the job and I got it done. Mm -hmm. um, and this year I'm back in marketing, which mm. is what I'm more comfortable doing. Mm. And my technical um, position name is the convention coordinator. Okay. So I basically run our, our road show. I go around to the different DC area cons and some in North Carolina and one or two in New Jersey. Mm. And I set up our booth, like our promotional booth, and I tell people about the glories of our wonderful convention. <laughs> and then I just try to get them to come. Cool, cool. Yeah. What, is, what is it like marketing an anime convention? Like what do you have to think about um, how do you approach other people about that? 
Um, how you can market it is the same way you'd market a lot of other things, mm. I feel like. You highlight the positives and you try to not mention the negatives. <laughs> um, Nothing bad happens at an anime convention, so we're fine. Yeah, no, everything's totes kosher. <laughs> um, one of the big things I always tell people is our maid cafe and host club. Mm. Not a lot of ah. conventions have maid cafes and mm. even fewer have host clubs. We are actually one of the only two or three host clubs on the East Coast. Wow. So it's very different in comparison to what a lot of other conventions have. We also focus heavily on the educational programming. Mm. And like we had Man at Arms this year. They are That's obviously awesome. experts in their field. <laughs> and they led a panel or two and mm. they had a demonstration they did in closing ceremonies. Mm. And we also have so many we have such a variety of different things at our convention we had we have cosplay burlesque mm. they come and they do performances every year wow. and we had um Katz McGann come mm. and she was talking about historical costuming which not a lot of people come to anime cons to talk about anymore exactly. so it's very educational and like we're also right down the street from the zoo yeah. Because a lot of the people that come to Anime USA, they actually aren't from the D.C. area. Mm. So it's just a huge tourist attraction. Sure, that makes for sense. For everyone. And the National Zoo is free. And you could essentially walk to it from our convention center. So baby pandas are always a nice draw. Absolutely, yeah. So for those watching this who maybe aren't familiar with a maid cafe, can you tell us a little bit more about what that's like and what a maid cafe is? A maid cafe is an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the easiest way that I've had multiple people describe it to me is Hooters for Otaku. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, except our maids, they're obviously not dressed like Hooters girls. Mm -hmm. They wear maid uniforms. They're the Japanese version. So it's mm. kind of like a mix between Japanese Lolita and then the French maid style. Mm -hmm. They're super cute, mm. adorable, petticoats galore and beautiful <laughs> wigs, amazing false eyelashes Wow. and all the wonderful makeup. And they're all adorable and they'll do J-pop and para para dances and sometimes they'll sing and do musical performances and they just interact. It's an experience. Like you go to a maid cafe <coughs> for the experience. You're not just getting your food and leaving. You're mm. getting your food, you're playing Django with your maid and you're wow. taking photos and they're just sitting with you and sometimes they draw with a ketchup bottle, like draw little cute photos on your amuraisu. And uh. It's just a great family fun mm -hmm. thing. Like there are loads of really tasty foods and stuff. And like I said, it's you go for the ambiance and the yeah. experience. That is really cool. So how does it work in terms of um, at a convention? Because I'm assuming you can't just necessarily walk up to one and go in. Yes. Um, <clears throat> Our maid cafe is actually extraordinarily popular. Mm. So we have lines. Mm. Um, sometimes we will take reservations. Um, okay. We do reservations for the host club. Okay. Um, but you'll normally have to wait in lines. We have very limited um, operation hours. Mm. Okay. So like you have to get there early and you have to be willing to wait in line for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not too bad though. Yeah, for, it's really not. Exactly, yeah. And you don't even have to leave the con center for food, which I think is the best part. That's a very good point, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Cool, is there anything else about um, Anime OSA or cons in general you want folks to know about? Cons are amazing. Yeah. Um, if you've ever been on the fence about going to a convention, do it. It completely changed my life for the better. Mm. I've made some of my best friends in the convention circuit. And I just think it's a great experience for people of all ages. There we go. All right. Thank you very much for being part, for being part of this. We really appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for having me. You bet. Thanks. <laughs> Take care. See you guys next time.